procedure on of how to perform a Leopold's maneuver. So, what is a Leopold's maneuver in the first place? Well, a Leopold's maneuver are systematic method of observation and palpation to determine fetal position, presentation, lie, and attitude. So, the purpose of Leopold's maneuver is to determine fetal presentation and position and the expected location of the point of maximal intensity or PMI of fetal heart rate or FHR in the woman's abdomen. So, its indication is preferably performed after 24 weeks gestation when fetal outline can be palpated. Well, it's contraindication is a full bladder may obscure the findings. The special consider consideration of Rupal's maneuver is first of this client's may, may fit, fit belly fat will obscure the findings. So second is patients who are fully high bromus may give the examiner a little difficulty. However, the assessment of rechecking of brotherness and intravaginal examination or IA can help confirm their findings. Now, let's talk about the procedure. First, we have to prepare the patient. We have to wash our hands, explain the procedure to the client because explanation reduces anxiety and enhances cooperation. So, good afternoon. My name is Richard Mepentor. I am your student nurse for today. May I know your, name, your full name, Mom? Okay. Mrs. Hoyate. Great. We will, today we are doing a Leopold's maneuver. We will be able to identify the positioning and presentation of your baby. So, supposed to be after assessing Mrs. Hoyate, a AOG, she could be in her 28th week of gestation. It, and it's possible if, if we are doing the Leopold's maneuver. So, at the end of the pr procedure, at the pr presentation, and the heart tone will be determined or the fetal heart tone will be located. So, Mrs. Soyatid, I will explain the procedure for you first and what is contained in each step. So, the first step or the first maneuver is the frontal grip. It will help us identify if your baby is in a brace or in a falling presentation. It's either on the head is on top or the buttocks are on the bottom. So, the second maneuver will help us identify where your baby is back is and will help us to identify the small parts like the hands or the fingers. Or the third maneuver will help us firm the first maneuver. Meaning, if what we found in this is the head, then the, the head must be at the bottom. Okay. Or if you found the bottom is at the pontos, then the head must be at the bottom. It will also help us identify the fetal heart tone. So once we find the baby's back, and well, the fourth maneuver will be able to tell if the baby is head is engaged or not. So, Mrs. Soyate, have you gone to the toilet or you want to go to the toilet first? Okay, great. So, could you flex your legs for me? Okay. So, I'm going to pick a pillow under your hips. more comfort for the patient, hold hands, stimulate uterine 
contractions. So next is we have to observe the woman's abdomen for the longest diameter and the fetal movement is apparent. The longest diameter is the length of the fetus location of the activity most likely reflects the position of the feet. Now what are we waiting for? Let's perform the first maneuver or the contact view. So for the first maneuver, stand at the foot of the client facing the client using both hands fell for the middle part lying on in the contour. This is proper positioning of hands ensures accurate findings. Second, palpate the first part of the contour to determine the consistency, shape, and mobility. This is to determine what position of the fetus lies in the contour. Heads, feels round and has a really movable, buildable beach. Feels like large, nodular, and soft. Go to the last maneuver or the pelvic grip. So, the nurse faces the feet of the client. We have to place one hand each on either side of the lower pole of the uterus. Palpate the petal head by pressing downwards about two inches above the inguinal ligament. Use both hands. This maneuver determines petal attitude and degree of petal extension included into the pelvis. This should be done in, if the fetus is in the cephalic position. So, let's see. But once in a while, let the reminiscence brighten this melody. So, after the last fourth maneuver, we have to place our client in a comfortable position. This is to ensure safety and comfort of the client. Document procedure and assessment findings and the client's response to the procedure. Documentation serves as a means of communication and basis of care and evaluation 
your patient's health outcome. So, thank you so much, Mrs. Riyadne, for, for, for your cooperation. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to put, put, put back your shirt and cover you up with a blanket so that you couldn't feel cold or catch the cold. So, before we end our demonstration for today, I, we are going to validate our data that we gathered. So, the baby is at the, is at the 28 weeks AOG. We have located the baby's head into this area. So, it is not engaged yet and it's still floating as it is. So, it's, it, it is good. Now, it's time for us to perform the hand hygiene. We let's wash our hands thoroughly and effectively. So, that would be all for our demonstration. Mrs. Fayette, once again, thank you, thank you so much. And to all of you, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it and you learn something and appreciate my effort. Reach me, Pentor, once again, from base into a red and